half-witted, scruffy-looking nerf herder. There's an old myth that says when you swear, you get dumberer. The blockade is f***ed. We dare not go against the Jedi. But research shows that people who swear more have a wider vocabulary, increased pain tolerance, get a better workout in the gym, and you're more likely to be kark and honest. And you're more emotionally stable due to just venting it all out of your cargo hold. Oh yeah, cargo hold means ass. So does chubies. You know it's a real pain in my chubies when you're afraid of swearing in front of family, friends, coworkers. So I'm here to teach you the ways of swearing in Star Wars, which is the next logical selection. A universal, or should I say, galactic language. Fuck. Kark is the big one. Karking hell. Kark me, what the kark? You can also use criff or bricks. Like, what the bricks are you doing here? Hell is also in Star Wars. Insert Han saying, see you in hell. You could also say, see you on the dark side. Shit. Sith is an obvious one. Sith happens, what the Sith? Be right back, I gotta take a prognificating Sith. You could also say Poodoo, which is Hutties for fodder. Snot, monk. And Osik is Mandalorian for shit. That's probably what Boba Fett said when he went into the Sarlacc pit. Oh, Osik. Also, shoutouts to the patron Discord who caught me missing this classic while they were watching the early access to this video. Sith spit, I have to get out of here. I can smell a perfume. I smell something. Bullshit. Bumble fluff, beige fat is Hutties for bullshit. Bantha fodder or bantha poodoo suggests that the thing to which the phrase is applied to is a lie or worthless or waste of time. And you can also substitute bantha with any creature. Dubek poodoo, Minoc poodoo, Yoda's race poodoo. Maybe nowadays you could say Grogu poodoo. Bitch is the next one. Piglet mommy is a derogatory statement used by Gamorians, but I'm sure you could call anybody this and it'd be a pretty sick burn. Shuta. It's a Twi'lek insult against ladies based on a weasel creature from their planet, Ryloth. Run? I didn't run from you two shuttas last time, and this time, I'm gonna make sure you stay down. Damn. Rot. Broggle. Kessel, as in I'll be kesseled. And Stang, as in Stang. Guess I'm walking. Those crystals you're holding are very much like those found in a Jedi's lightsaber. Spast! Other random expletives include Aw nuts. Blast it. Carbon flush. Oh crap. Borg liquor, which is used by people who are prejudiced against cyborgs. Bug slut. Smeg. Nerf herder, which is actually a legitimate hardworking occupation on Alderaan. But it's a term used as an insult among Alderaan nobility, so Leia is a classist pig, really. A carking piglet mommy. Pretzel bender implies somebody works a lowly job like pretzel bending. Man, there's a lot of occupation shaming in Star Wars. Another insult is Predsil, confusingly. Bantha breath, Bantha spew, son of a Bantha, tub of Bantha fat, one-eyed egg-sucking son of a slime devil, youngling. It's not an insult, but it's pretty funny to call an adult a youngling. Maybe it's a sick burn for a Jedi. Moisture boy. Highly offensive in the moisture farming scene, this one. Implies that a moisture farmer doesn't know what they're doing. Huh. The entropy I can't. I don't know what this means. Space ugly, as in, damn, Shuta, you space ugly. Rimkin, it's basically bumpkin for somebody in the outer rim. Bug face is a racist slur against Rodians. How uncalled for. Squidhead might be perceived as a racist slur against the Quarren, but actually, this is what the race was called when the Kenner toy from 1983 came out. It wasn't until seven years after Return of the Jedi that the species actually got a name, and it came from the first tabletop source book from West End Games. So, lore? Slur? Why not both? And then there's all these other ones that are less interesting, but feel free to use them. They all fit the lore. Now's the point where we get into some more advanced swearing. Why not make fun of the boys in white? Or boys in blue? Both those phrases are in Star Wars, apparently. A white job is a clone trooper. Bucketheads are stormtroopers, which is honestly too cool to be an insult. Shoutouts to Buckethead. Scum fits any military group, rebel scum, imperial scum, black sun scum. No one's free of being called the horrible term scum. Noob, vape bait is an unskilled pilot who makes an easy target, as in they get vaporized pretty quickly. 
vaping is actually a modifier you could use on any of these swears. As in vaping moths. Probably referencing how Moff Tarkin was vaporized on the Death Star. We've already covered a few Huttese swears, but if you want to swear like a hut, you can add P-Donkey. It's basically calling somebody a punk ass. Stupa is Huttese for fool. And one we already covered by like saying it, Beish Fat. She's screaming dough pot, Slimo. Yo kato panta pudu. Be a gola nachaska means stupid little princess. Ichuta, kuchu is idiot. Kung is scum. And wakamancha means cowardly. Are you a droid and want to insult people? Well, here you go. Don't you call me a mindless philosopher, you overweight glob of grease? Can of corrosion. Switch off. Who pissed in your power supply? Rust bucket. And of course... Once upon a time, organic meat bags bred out of control and filled the galaxy. Alright, here are some modifiers to enhance your swear game on all the existing swears we've learned. Back rocket means backwards, quaint, or inferior. Blinkin' implies somebody's stupid or high on spice. Barvy, scruffy looking. Vapin', milkin', snarkin', scroggin'. Burnin', prognificating, which is a disgusting act or natural phenomenon. Possibly some variation of defecating, putrefying, or both. Up next we got exclamations! Blaster bolts! Minoc muffins! Negatron! Loznoigitot! Tarkin's teeth! Sweet Suki! Suki! Sweet Queen Quinella! Sweet Mother Chaos! By the Force! By the Core! By the dark side. By the Emperor's black heart. By all of Alderaan's ghosts. Damn, that's a cold one. By the immortal gods of the Sith. And, Yitch my skug, we been farkled. Here's some bonus slang for you. Whinging jimmies, slang for being frightened, as in, it gives me the whinging jimmies. Lubed, made by Ben Skywalker, meaning cool. Yum yum is Deveronian for girlfriend. An LOL is an acronym for laugh out loud, using emails to express that something's amusing. So apparently in X-Wing Alliance, there was emails, and Vader's email is vader at imperial.emp. Lol. All right, here's some real world examples for you that you can start with. I don't know where you get your delusions, laser brain. I'm gonna be late for work. I'll be kesseled if those nerf herders get anything done without me. I fragged your yum yum from the cargo bay, youngling. Could be taken as, I snuck in the back door and drank your blue milk, kid. Or, I booty blasted your girl, sir or madam. You think you're lubed, moisture boy? Sorry to break it to you, but you're just a milking tub of bantha fat. By the vaping moths! Your space uglier than I thought. Listen, meatbag, why don't you get back to pretzel bending and let the droids finish their protocol, you bucket of smeg. You son of a Sith harlot, you thought you could cheat on me with that back rocket bug slip behind my back? Aw oh, nuts, my scrog and pod racers all brixed up. Sweet Minoc muffins, I just Sith my pants. So there you go, what kind of examples can you come up with? Let me know in the comments, like and subscribe, and check out the Patreon, you can join the Discord over there and see some behind the scenes content. And a special thank you to my top tier supporters, Heliomorpha, Uninvited Haggis, and Jordan Rowe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. The legend will never die.